This is a full emerald beacon. Quite a flex, isn't it? And this is one of every single beacon. I'm pretty sure you have seen a lot of YouTubers have built them in the past, but no one have ever tried speedrunning building the beacons. Except me, of course. In the last video, I built a full diamond beacon in just under 12 hours, and you guys loved it. So, naturally, I want to step it up and build one of every single beacon as fast as possible. And the question is, how fast can you build one of every single beacon? With the questions in mind, let's begin. First thing in the agenda, we're gonna need good tools, which means I need to loot a lot of entities. So, let's just beat the game real quick. Anyhow, doing all of this took around two hours, which isn't that good, considering that I haven't speedrun Minecraft for a really long time. It's pretty good. All right, now we can start doing our plans. Since we're gonna build three beacons in this video, I'm gonna rank them from the easiest to the hardest and start with the easiest one, which is a gold beacon. In reality, the only thing you need to get a full gold beacon is just a silk touch pickaxe and nether axis. All right, honestly, if I find bastions and these golds, because there's a lot of gold in the nether and each one of these can be smelted to one ingot, so... Basically, I'm winding one ingot per ore, and there's a lot of them. You know, that's the OPS and easiest, and I think that gold is the easiest beacon to get, to be honest. Oh, hello. This is a treasure bastion. Let's go. Actually, let's go, because this has the most gold. Why not? One extra block. I see another one. <coughs> I know you might be asking, Relic though, why you are not making any farms? Because of the rules. And since I haven't explained the rules, let me just explain them real quick. There's only two rules, as simple as the word simple means. Building farms is not allowed, meaning no iron, emerald or gold farms. And second, I have to complete the challenge in hardcore mode. That's the rules. Besides that, the main reason I'm in the nether is not just for the gold. I was actually looking for the fortresses in soul sand valleys or in good places that a lot of mobs can spawn in them. So I can get the wither heads because I don't know if you know that, but usually beacons include one beacon block. Shocking fact, I know. Since this challenge was related to time, I installed the day counter mod. And since we have a day counter mod, let's do a few days of commentary like a hundred days challenge. I spent the entire day 10 hunting down with the skeletons, and to my surprise, I was really lucky. Although when I killed one of them, I didn't know that he had friends. I probably should run. Ah! I need 9 wither skeleton skulls for this video, that is just crazy. Shortly after, I got the second one. I gotta stop. And literally after the third one, I got the fourth one. After that, the pigling community was jealous, so they decided to cancel me. You can't climb that? Nothing interesting happened in day 11, except me being an idiot. Also, I got three more skulls. I got one more skull in day 12 and just needed one more, but didn't get anything for the next two days. Why? Because life is about eternal suffering. Ha <laughs> ha! That was one of my worst jokes. If you laughed at it, I feel bad for you. Also guys, if you enjoyed the video so far, please do consider subscribing. I always had a dream of becoming a YouTuber someday and with your help, I can achieve my dreams. It's completely free and it does really help me a ton. And finally, in day 13, I got the last skull. After that, I spent a little bit more time in the nether, looting more bastions to get more gold blocks and gold in general for the gold beacon, obviously. And when I was done, I went back to the overworld. After that, only thing that I needed to do was to smelt all of the gold ores and turn them into blocks. And now, officially, gold beacon is done. Moving on to the item beacon. I'm going to be absolutely honest, as long as you have a fortune 3 pickaxe, and in my opinion, it's a lot more dangerous than the gold beacon. Let's see how fast we can get the full iron beacon without farming it.
I'm not gonna lie, mining iron is just so boring, man. At least I found a slime chunk. That's pretty cool. The only interesting point that mining iron has is just way more dangerous than the gold. Not because looting bastions are easy. That's because I am a professional and they know how to loot the bastions without any danger. This is just boring though. I have full crud 4. I'm not gonna die to these idiots. At least with the gold, I had the chance to fly around, see train, see bastions, see all the beautiful stuff. But this one is just pure pain and boredom. Okay, 38 more blocks. That's amazing. And one last push. Okie dokie. Iron beacon also done. I hate my life. All right, so we are at the six hour mark, which is amazing. I gotta smell these, but that's okay. While I'm trading with villagers, I'm gonna... Okay, easy peasy, 16 emeralds. For the next three hours of my life, only thing I did was to set up some villagers, gather materials, sell to the villagers, rinse and repeat. I was doing everything. I collected a lot of wood. I collected a lot of clays for the stone cutters. I even I even killed the wither one time to get one beacon and use that to mine stone and sell to the stone cutters again. I was just grinding and grinding and grinding to achieve my goals. Four and a half stack left to go. We are getting there. Only one stack left to go. I'm so tired. Is this gonna be enough? Okay, one stack. Two stacks. 36, that's perfectly enough. <laughs> I had all the materials needed for beacons. Only thing left to do was to kill the wither two more times and I would be done. Why not? Okay, everything is down to this last two withers. Everything is just ready. Oh my gosh, okay. Why? Okay, this is not good. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, okay, heal. He's so low. I mean, I'm low as well. Oh, I can hit him with an arrow in second phase, I forgot. Perfect! Yes, this is what you want. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I was just about to run out of blocks. Alright, I'm gonna craft two more of these bad boys. Just like that. And we grab these. Easy peasy. Okay, beacon number one done. And beacon number three, the gold beacon. Isn't that just marvelous? We have all the beacons 
in 37 days. I don't know how many hours, but 37 days. And the grand reveal of our time is less than 10 hours? What in the hell? Oh my god. What? <laughs>